school or just to earn your bachelor's degree and not thinking about getting your master's degree or a doctoral degree, then what you do is that you set up your goals too short. And as you know right now, the people who are out there who earn a bachelor's degree at almost like nothing right now on the market job place. The reason I'm saying that is that people are pursuing higher education now. Now if, you, if, it, if there's two applications and one person who has a doctorate degree who has, and somebody who just have a bachelor's degree, you know who's going to get the job offering first? The doctor's degree is going to get it first because he has more training. So you have to have your vision and you have to enlarge your vision. Okay? If you keep it so narrow, so small, you cannot expand yourself. So you need to get a, get a um, bigger vision. Let me just tell you a little story. How many of your parents are came from Laos? Almost the majority, okay. Now, during my time, why did our parents came to the United States? Hmm? Better future. Better future. Okay. Do you think that they have a better vision also? Yes. yes. Our parents went through the, yep. almost the same thing. They've been through the persecution of the uh, communism, you know, communism. Okay. They have this big vision. They say, if I don't take my family out of Laos, across the Maple River to Thailand, what's going to happen? The chance of being dying is very high, right? almost 100%. So they have to sacrifice themselves. For some of us who were born in Laos, I can see the back of my parents' eyes that geez, we got to get our kids out of Laos, go to Thailand, and hopefully to a third world country where they can get education. That's why they crossed the Mikko River in the middle of the night, smuggling through the <coughs> forest, and hopefully that they will not encounter any communists. Some people do not get lucky enough, and their lives will vanish. They, would, they never crossed the Mekka River. Your parents came from a long way to bring you to the United States. If some of you were born in the United States, and all and those folks that were those students that were born in the United States, you were the lucky one. You did not have to go through what we went through. Nine years. Not only escaping Laos to Thailand, we landed on Thailand. And guess what? We've been incarcerated, put in a refugee camp. We're surrounded by an iron bar. We cannot get out of the camp. A lot of people dying of hunger, disease, the lack of medication. And I lost two of my uh, youngest uh, sisters and then also one older brother at the refugee camp because of hunger and uh, disease. There's no medication. If you catch pneumonia, which is easy that we can treat it now, if you catch pneumonia, you're out of luck. There's no medication. You're suffocating through your airway. You cannot breathe and you die. Think about that. I saw many, many people die at the refugee camp. You know the drum, right? When there's a funeral? Hey. That drum never stopped all year long. For the, for the five years that we were at the refugee camp, not a single night that I did not hear that drum pounding. And then we were fortunate that we came to the United States. We were able to get the obligation or the uh, permission to come to the United States. And when I came to the United States in 1980, guess what? I did not speak a word of English. People used to make fun of me when I went to school. Because I had this vision when I was in a refugee camp. 
en año 